Hi, everybody. I'm, I'm debating whether or not to post this as a second video. Because in the, vi in the first video, the video that you either watched or are watching right now, I want to d I want to discuss if I'm sorry, who dies and who doesn't in Infinite Crisis. And I want to discuss this book right here. Teen Titans 98. As you can see, it has Super Brat Prime in it. But we'll get to that later. Okay. First off, Blue Beetle, Ted Cord, the first one, dies. Dies in Countdown to Infinite Crisis, so he does not survive. He gets shot in the face by Maxwell Lord, who is subsequently killed by Wonder Woman. He, she snaps his neck. Dawnstar, same thing, gets killed retro, she gets killed in, in the infinite crisis, she does not survive, although she survives retroactively, because she never was the same Dawnstar, yeah, so it's, it's, she doesn't survive. King Solovar, he sur he does not survive. He dies. I don't know how he dies, but he dies. He is subsequently brought back in Blackest Night. Then killed again as a zombie. But that's neither here nor there. He doesn't survive the crisis. Um, all of the Legion of Superheroes, same thing. They were erased retroactively. Um... Lil Hunter, exact same thing. Erased retroactively, so he never became the same Rep Hunter again. The only one who really truly survives, to my knowledge, is Firestorm. Um because the Flash does not survive. Yeah, does not survive the first crisis. He dies right in in that crisis. He dies right in that crisis, and um, the Flash becomes Wally West. So. Wally evolves into Flash, so he does, he survives, but he is not the same character. And what I was trying to say was that, all the people that, none of, 
all the people that survived the crisis. To my knowledge, out of them all, Firestorm's the one that stays most the same. Doesn't evolve. He is the only one true survivor because he is energy. Ted Cord. Back to him. Got shot in the face trying to stop the Omax, which are the giant big blue things that you see at the very beginning of Infinite Crisis. They are floating in the sky. They're robots. Because Maxwell Lord's trying to corrupt the satellite that Batman created, known as Brother Eye. The satellite gets corrupted, but he, Ted tries to stop all that. Ted tries to stop the whole opening scene of Infinite Crisis, but he dies doing so. He dies trying to infiltrate the... Does trying to infiltrate checkmate and save Brother I. But Wonder Woman's so pissed at this that Ted died that she kills Maxwell Lord, as I said. Setting off this whole chain of events. Known as the Amazon thing. The, um, Amazon's attack. But Ted does not survive. Green Lantern doesn't survive. He becomes Parallax. He gets taken over by the dragon Parallax. And doesn't survive the infinite crisis. He goes crazy. He becomes the dragon known as Parallax. And Parallax is later dispelled by the Guardians. For some reason, Green Arrow dies, too. His subsequent death is what causes Green Lantern to go nuts. Green Lantern... goes nuts because he's very upset about Green Arrow. Same thing. Um, it 
and he later dies in the 31st century as well. Superman, we all know what happened to him. He was beaten to death by Doomsday. I'm not doing them in order, I'm sorry. I'm doing them as they come to me. So Superman didn't survive the crisis. He survived the first crisis, but not the second second crisis known as Crisis in Time. He was beaten to death by Doomsday. If you want to get technical, I guess, the only one who really remembers the crisis in its true nature is supposed to be the psycho pirate. He has all of his memories. He gets to remember all of it. But what what I'm trying to say is that Firestorm is the on, the only survivor that survives throughout all of it because he is energy. Um, now to this book, the one that made me look like a liar in the first video. Superboy Prime comes back in Teen Titans. It was just published last month. I'm sorry, I, I remembered something. Donna Troy. She does not survive. Again, I forget how she dies. Pardon me. But she does. But she does. She survives. I mean, she dies. Uh, Troy dies. Um, Power Girl, if you want to get, again, if you want to get technical, she does die. Because Parallax wipes her out. In Crisis in Time. Firestorm survives pretty much everything. He even survives Brightest Day, becoming, I mean, Blackest Night and Brightest Day, becoming two separate entities. The Zombie Firestorm and Firestorm, because he's a combination of four separate people. Now, to the book. It made me look like a liar. Because he does, he does come back in these pages. What it basically says is that Superboy Prime comes back with a bunch of other time anomalies. Inertia included. And, for some reason, he's wreaking vengeance on Connor. We don't know why quite yet, but he is now back. He is not dead. And, in the original video, I said he was dead. 
That was my mistake, I guess. I guess he is now back. I don't know why, but he's not dead or erased or anything like that. He's now alive and bothering the Teen Titans. Because Connor was thrown in some sort of wormhole. And at the end, there are four Connors, which I'm guessing he punched a hole into reality. Or it has something to do with his time as the time trapper. But anyway, that's just speculation. Um, yeah, we'll find out why Superboy Prime survived, but what, based on what I've heard, and what, what I go on record as saying in the first video, they didn't destroy him because there is still a code. There is still a code because this guy's still alive. He's still alive because there's a code. He's still alive because... They want to destroy the Marvel Universe. <sighs> yeah. There's probably... Not gonna be... A... Panel stating that... But the reason he's still alive is because they want to destroy the Marvel Universe. Otherwise, they would have killed him off a long time ago. They, um... Had him come back as... The Time Trapper at the time before this. And he got shoved into our world. And then he actually destroyed <laughs> the offices of DC Comics. It was a very funny, humorous issue. It was very enjoyable. Yeah. Y'all should take it up. Action Comics, I think. It, or Adventure Comics, I'm sorry. Y'all should pick it up. It was very humorous. Anyway, that's all I know for right now. He's back, he's alive, and he's... He has other time anomalies with him. He has inertia, which is supposed to be dead. He's supposed to be moving... He's supposed to be, um, in time, stuck in time, Moving so slow that... Moving so slow that even the fastest hummingbird can't move that fast. So, his molecules are moving very, very slowly. Very, very, very slowly, and... For some reason, he's back, too. Um... Indigo, she's dead, but Brainiac could have reassembled her. Yeah, there, there's a logical plot line there that he could could have brought these people back from the past, but again, that's just speculation. Um, I don't know Sunfire's backstory. Can't tell you. Don't know about Sunfire. Uh, 
I don't know about. And I'll persuade her. She. He. It. The persuader name. She herself is a time anomaly. They're all time anomalies. And for some reason, they're, bre they're back with Super Brat. They're back with Super Brat trying to destroy Teen Titans. Um, what I try, what I tried to talk about in the first video, and if if I do decide to post this as a separate video, is and if. Is that ba Batman's sanity throughout the um, throughout the Infinite Crisis and that's why I was briefly touching on Ted Cord. I wish I had that book down here with me, but what you gotta do? On the cover, it shows Batman holding Ted in his arms because he is partially responsible for his death because Brother I is his system, is his system, the system Batman created. And that's what you get to see. You get to see him at that point he had become less moral than the say the thirties Batman that that held a gun and supported the war. I want to be clear, I'm not saying the 30's Batman was more patriotic because he held a gun. I'm saying that he was he was more yeah, he wasn't I'm not here to discuss how hardcore he was. I'm here to discuss the Batman. He wouldn't have done what that Batman did. He wouldn't have been that reckless. wouldn't have been that reckless as to say here I'll keep files on all the Justice League um it's not something he would have done that Batman was more patriotic and more I don't know what I'm trying to say <sighs> more patriotic more That thing was more. He wasn't as. He wouldn't have let Ted die. But this Batman did. 
He let Ted Cord die. He let all that happen. And then, um, once you let that happen, the Blue Beetle Scarab went to Jamie Rise. What? Right. 